Hi, this is David Papkin with TSI Consulting Services. Welcome back to Upgrading Your Skills to Windows Server 2016. In this video demo, integrating with Azure AD. So I'm going to do is in storing Microsoft Azure AD Connect, I'm going to add the domain to Azure, download and install AD Connect, and then configure it using Express Settings, and then I'll verify synchronization. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going. So I'm going to do is I'm going to log in with this. Notice you don't enter the password yet. You have to do is wait. If you just enter the password there, you might have some issues. So enter the password. Great over here. Okay. So when I'm taking a look here, let's just click on Active Directory. So once again, logging in again. So what I've gone is on here to manage Windows Azure. Instead, I'm not going to use the new Azure portal. I'm using manage.windowsazure.com in this one right here. And if I click on here, I've got an Active Directory. I'm going to go actually back all the way. Oh, there's the alt default directory. So let me go back all the way just so you can see it. We look at all items. I click on the default directory right here. I'm going to click on this. Okay. I'm just going to do is this. I'm going to get rid of this. So when I click on users, I'm going to add a user here. So you notice that user this right here. Now the new user's name on this is going to be called sync. I'll notice you can see on here. Okay. Now I want to do is this, write down this complete username. And this user right here, uh, DP10983, 3A1508, one six outlook dot on microsoft dot com good a display name sync On this one right here, saying this is sync. The role of this will be global admin. And of course, on this email address here. So I put this as the alternate one on this. I'm not going to enable multi factor authentication at this time. I will sign a temporary password. Create. I'm going to say this. Great. Finished. Good. Very good. And we take a look at this here. Now what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to scroll all the way down to settings. A 
administrators, then good. I'm going to go add. And this one right here, the subscription. Good. Okay. Good. Good. It's been added. Now what I'm going to do is in this. I'm going to close this. Reopen it. Manage Windows Azure .com. I'm going to use another account. Continue. The password is this. Paste it in there. Sign in. It's going to ask me to change the password again. Current password is this. And I'll put in the new password. As I'm signing in. Okay, so I'm logged in as sync right here. I'm going to take a look over here. All items right here. Default directory in here. I'm going to add a domain. A datum dot com. And then I'm going to click add. I'm not going to do this right now. Next. So I'm going to add domain to download and install Azure Connect. I'm going to download. I'm going to run it. I'm going to agree to the license term. I'm going to continue. Express settings. The username. And the password. It verified the account was a global admin. This one here. Administrator. Examine the domain. I'm going to do is this. I'm going to continue without any verified domains. I'm 
and I'm going to start the synchronization process. And this one right here, this is for Azure AD. Now it says that it's complete. Then you can do a test sign on to the Azure portal. Now I'm going to take a look here. Take a look here. Let's see about users. And look at this. I went into the users. I can see all these users here from Active Directory. Groups. I just see these ones right here. But as you can see, these ones right here. The next thing I want to, so we've done this already. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add new objects to AD and then verify sync. Look at all these groups are in here now. It just took a little while for them to come across. These are all the ones from there. Fantastic. I'm going to go here, Active Directory using computer. Sales. New. User. David. My name David too. Password. Great, I put the account there. I'm going to do is this. There I see you. Add them to a group. Sales. Okay. Now the next thing I'm going to go here. Sorry, AD Connect. I'm going to go on this. Customize config options on this right here. And the username on this. Next here. Domain and OU filtering. I'm just going to leave it alone. So notice we're doing here on password synchronization. Next. Click install. Okay, so now I looked at there. So now what I'm going to do is this. Go back. Click on this to refresh this. Under Users. Let's 
Suzanne this. Look at this. David 2 is there. Yippee. So, it is completed. All done. So, in this module demo, integrating with Azure AD, I've added the domain to Microsoft Azure, downloaded and stored AD, Azure AD Connect. I've configured the Azure AD Directory Connect using Express. I added new job objects, and I verified synchronization. This has been David Papkin with TSI Consulting Services. Thanks for watching. See you soon.